Here's my little outfit. I haven't started off the vlog yet today, but I'm wearing just a tank top from Cotton On. They have really good basics for such a good price. These black linen shorts are from Park, as well as this white denim like jacket throwover type thing. And I'm wearing my Boston suede Birkenstocks. This bag is from Amazon. And I'm heading out the door to meet Maya. We're gonna try this new salad place in Winter Garden, and I'm excited. drinking a 4 p.m. ice latte and I don't know why I left the car wash I got my car washed finally it's been so long since I got my car washed they just vacuum wipe everything down do a tire shine clean the cup holders just everything and I go to images on colonial if you're interested they basically do everything for you I could have gone to a spot and did it myself but truthfully it, my car was on the outside pretty bad on the inside it doesn't really get that dirty because i'm not i don't have like animals i don't really have a lot of people in the back seat it's just me driving to and from work it's just pretty bad on the outside for the pollen and then obviously like the tires get dirty too but i shouldn't have worked out this morning because i felt like i was rushing around to get ready to go meet my friend maya for lunch we went to this new place they did a soft opening called sizzling greens and it was pretty good their food is never frozen and they use a hundred percent um extra virgin olive oil no like sunflower oil canola oil none of that which i love it was really good we tried some soups which i didn't take a clip of the best soups i've ever had so good everything tastes fresh just good for you and knowing like the good ingredients the good oils, never frozen food. It just makes you feel good about what you're eating. So really good. It's in Winter Garden. So if you're in the Orlando area, it is like 20 minutes outside of Orlando, what I consider Orlando. Christian and I, I think are going to Costco tomorrow, which will be so great, so needed. We haven't been in a couple of months, so we just need like a restock of basically everything. Yeah, there'll be a Costco haul in this vlog, but yeah, just wanted to officially start off a vlog. I think I'm gonna start laundry today because I know tomorrow's gonna be like a heavy grocery day, meal prepping. So I think I'm gonna get like the laundry out of the way today just so it's not like hard on me tomorrow to kind of like get it done. I deep clean the apartment on Thursday, which weekend me is thanking myself. It's so funny because I feel like I always reference this. Um, when you do things for yourself that you know are like good for your future self, I really have my future self's best interest in mind and that's how I feel like I drive each day. It's just important to like think about yourself in the, f I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but on Thursday I was letting myself marinate in self tanner. I did like some editing for a little bit and then I stopped, had dinner, and after dinner I was like, you know what, I am just gonna pause my editing and deep clean the apartment because I had like an hour and a half to two hours left of self tanner that I had to sit in. So I just deep cleaned the apartment because I knew I was gonna have to do it this weekend and now I'm grateful that I don't have to do it this weekend. So it's like kind of like live every day, just like kind of thinking about like my future self and my future self will thank me for doing certain tasks now so I don't have to do it later or just like setting myself up for success in like areas of my life like cleaning, meal prepping, grocery shopping, uh, meal planning for the week, just keeping myself organized. And I know some people just like aren't programmed that way or programmed in a way to like eat the same meals four days a week or whatever it could be starting with like small tasks and then building from there i didn't just start doing all this stuff all in one day setting goals for yourself and like easy attainable ways to get to those goals is 
the best place to start and just starting with one little thing and then just building off top on top of that so yeah it's my <laughs> i'm thanking my past self sitting here knowing that i don't have to deep clean the apartment this weekend but anyways i am going to probably throw in a couple loads of laundry like i mentioned and sit on the couch probably relax for a little bit watch some youtube um i'm gonna have some leftover ish food for dinner and then like cook we have some leftover sides from last night, so I'm gonna use that with like my main course. That's that, that's what's going on. Just wanted to officially start off the vlog. Christian and I just got home from Costco and we're gonna do a quick little haul and unload. I need to unload all the groceries from the bags, but um, we're gonna rush through this haul. We're going to our friend's house for a little birthday that we haven't seen in a little while. So we're excited. I'm gonna show you quickly everything that we got. I'll start with the boring stuff. Toilet paper, paper towels, trash bags, dishwasher pods, more scent beads and Tide pods. Costco has cheapest eggs got two of these we go through eggs so quick this is new sorry if you don't like raw meat we got some of this sirloin we love the really easy sirloin that you can get from costco that we've got in the past and it was christian's idea to switch it up so we're gonna vacuum seal this freeze some you can put on sandwiches on salads just have it by itself with obviously some sides so we're gonna try this out we got a bunch of ground turkey a bunch of ground beef chicken thighs got this wagyu ground beef for smash burgers they have the mush overnight oats with strawberry vanilla bean and blueberry i love this for breakfast so i picked up a box this bear lightly breaded chicken for like an easy weekend lunch pot roast we love this it's like an easy dinner with mashed potatoes and like mixed vegetables so good so easy comfort meal this is the best pizza ever <laughs> from Costco. Just love having this in the freezer for like a weekend lunch. I saw this in the aisle and I said, ooh, that sounds really good. And a woman in the aisle literally said, get it, just get it. It's so good. So we got it. <laughs> it's a massive bag of popcorners and spicy queso. It sounds delicious and right at my alley. Biggest bag of purely Elizabeth granola. I love this stuff really great price and this is one of the best flavors in my opinion we needed some more avocado oil spray so we got some of that salmon and stuffed peppers i think we're gonna do this tomorrow night for dinner and this gets us like two dinners so that's good this big thing of japanese barbecue sauce and that's the haul we're gonna vacuum seal some stuff but we're gonna run to a friend's house so we'll probably vacuum seal it later but this is the costco haul feel like it's usually like a little bit bigger than this but we got to restock up a lot of our meats that we needed and things like that i'll probably do a trader joe's run in the next week or so and then i obviously still need to go to Publix to get the fresh stuff for the week and like all the rest of the dinner stuff insides but i feel good <laughs> with this round of costco It is so much later, it's seven o'clock. We stayed at our friends a little bit longer than I thought we would. And then I had to run to, well, I didn't have to run to Sprouts, but they were doing a sale on teas and they have some of the teas that I drink there and Publix doesn't. Literally, the teas that I get from Traditional Medicinals, $3.99. That's $2 off a box of tea. So I got like six boxes of teas. So I went to Sprouts, picked that up, and then I did our groceries for the week. I still have to meal prep. We're doing pasta salad which is a little bit time consuming with prepping veggies. So hopefully I can knock that out in 30 minutes. 
We gotta eat dinner. Still have to like mentally prepare myself for another work week. Yeah, haven't really vlogged much today. Really thought I would vlog more this weekend. Um, just feel like I've been just busy doing stuff. I need to edit YouTube videos. I just, there's just a lot that is like consuming my mind right now and a lot of stuff that I have to do. Yeah, I'm gonna run upstairs, bring all the groceries up, start meal prepping, and then we're probably gonna pick up food. That's always how it works. I feel like we always pick up food on Sundays. It's just easiest. And to be honest, I'm not cooking 7 p.m. Like I'm already cooking 10 meals for us for the week. So yeah, anyways. It's been the most gorgeous weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We have been blessed with good weather here in Orlando. It makes me so excited for summertime. Anyways, I'm gonna go upstairs. Just wanna check in, meal prep, get stuff done. Thank God I did my laundry yesterday because, whew, could not imagine doing it today. I just got home from work. I decided to carry the vlog into today, even though I can't really vlog at work, which is why I don't do a lot of work week in my life. It's really hard for me to vlog at work. People are sitting directly behind me. It's really hard. There's way more people in the office now than there was when I first started. So I just decided to carry the vlog into today just to get some more footage for this vlog, but just got home from work and it was a pretty good Monday. To be honest, it wasn't even bad. I have zero complaints. So I'm about to change and head to the gym 
My self-tanner is coming off really bad on my neck. I started using some new nighttime skincare, well, day and nighttime skincare, and I've been like putting it all on my neck, and my self-tanner does not last. It was already coming off yesterday. It's totally fine. I just, I'm gonna scrub it off on Wednesday, but I might scrub off my neck tonight just because it kind of looks a little bit splotchy and not so good. But yeah, I decided to carry the vlog into today. I just have this like bad habit of structuring out my videos so much to the point where I just don't let it go. I kind of just cut it off. Oh, it's Sunday night. I usually cut my vlog. Or, oh, it's a work week in my life. I usually cut the vlog on a Friday. Or if it's a day in my life, I cut the vlog at the end of the day. So I have a bad habit of not just like letting it flow into like the work week or another day or just picking up the camera on a random day. I kind of just like structure it a little bit more. I don't know. I don't know why I'm like that. Maybe I'll start doing throwing in because I just filmed a couple weeks ago like my Friday work day. So maybe here and there I'll like throw in just not keeping it so structured of a vlog and just letting it be a few days or whatever I want it to be. So I'm going to get ready for the gym, head down, walk on the treadmill for a couple of miles and then come up and do... A form workout so that's the plan i'm gonna change and head down to the gym i have some laundry going if you can hear that but i just pulled dinner out of the oven this takes like almost an hour to make basically 55 minutes and we got it at costco which you saw the haul earlier in the vlog these are so easy for dinner i mean all you do is put it in the oven just takes a little bit of time. And this will be dinner tonight and tomorrow night. This would also be a really great meal prep option, I guess you could say. Basically, you could have this for lunch for like a couple of days for yourself. So this is what we're gonna have for dinner. Just took it out of the oven and I'm so excited. I haven't had this in forever. 